what is real. I use the artist's different styles to transplant my message into their work. That enabled me to communicate myself to the world as I pleased. Wolfgang Beltraki. Wolfgang Beltraki is not only an extraordinary artist, but a master of slipping under the skin of other artists. My work opened doors. I could walk into different worlds and explore them. Sometimes I already felt after one painting study that I would not like it there. Beltraki is the greatest art forger in history. What is important to understand is that he did not really copy any works. He borrowed the style of the painter plus their signature. He studied the history of each artist to see if any of his paintings went missing. And then he created a work that could be the one that got lost, according to descriptions. Then, at other times, Beltraki just made a painting that the painter should have made, according to Beltraki's imagination, but never did. In a way, he filled the potential gaps in the artist's oeuvre, his body of work, and thereby enriching it. And what else can we learn from Beltraki the artist? Which unique moments and insights did his work and way of being generate for him? While displaying several of his newly created works of all the copied painters, in the midday sun, he experienced the following. The thought that I alone will ever remember this complete art composition that there will only be this one time installment in this midday sun was intoxicating, like an art form that has not existed up to then. The moment was ecstatic and it was solely for me. This is what you will experience once you leave the treadmill of emotions and the everyday behind. Unique, memorable moments when you develop your own imagination. Beltraki's work, somewhat akin to traveling through time, also had healing and even psychic aspects. Every time I immersed myself in this work, my vision cleared up. My vision returned to the times before the great catastrophes and found its lost equilibrium. As soon as I move about in the past, through his immersion into the paintings and the stories and landscapes surrounding them, I know what will happen. I'm calm. Once I'm in real time, I still receive the signals, but I cannot interpret them. Okay, if you want to become more like Wolfgang Wiltraki or at least develop your own imagination and have magic moments, then get this book turn on, turn up your imagination and you find the link in the description below. Bye bye.